Hi, this is a software video review from softwareslant.com and today I'm going to review software called the Nokia PC Suite and if you are an owner of a Nokia mobile phone you can actually use this free software um, to do all kinds of things uh, with your mobile first of all of course you have to connect your um, your mobile phone, your Nokia mobile phone to your computer and then you can start up the Nokia PC suite and what it allows you to do is uh, create backups, now you can create backups of all your phone information or just parts of it like your contacts, your messages, your settings and and much much more so uh, let's say you're, you're creating your phone firmware or software and then before doing that you, you can actually do a copy of all your phone and this program uh, the backup utility will actually do that and if something goes wrong you can always restore uh, you can always uh, restore that and as you can see a new phone software available for my Nokia N95 so before actually updating it I can I can do a backup copy uh, and this is what you can backup user files from phone memory uh, memory card contacts calendar notes settings bookmarks and, and more and more and more and uh, let's say I just want to book a uh, let's say I can just back up messages or settings or I would actually back up everything if I would do uh, some firmware weights on my phone and that is very cool and you can have as many backups as you want and you can have you can actually do a backup every week and then if something goes wrong or you lose a contact or you delete it or a message or anything else you can just go back, restore the backup and, and see what, what was there okay uh, now this one, synchronize, what it lets you do is it lets you synchronize emails, calendar items, contacts between your phone and Microsoft Outlook or Outlook Express or even Lotus Notes or Lotus Organizer if, if you use that uh, at work for example uh, then it allow, allows you to connect to the internet, connect your, your main PC to the internet uh, using the mobile phones um, GSM or 3G or 3.5G connection so if you have a laptop and you have a, a data plan or you have just a network connection on your phone uh, through the GSM or, or, or another network you can actually go ahead and connect your main computer to the internet through your phone or to your company intranet uh, contacts uh, lets you well, view the contacts on your phone and then it lets you edit them, export, save them, or just make adjustments. You just see quickly that's that's my phone and uh, that's my contacts, and you can import them, you can export them, and you can export them. Let's say I select all of them and I click export, and then you can, for example, export them as comma separated values, and this will basically let you import it into any program, uh, any other program or or, or Excel. Or Microsoft uh, Outlook or anything else. Now the messages, the messaging part is the same as on your phone so you can actually read the messages you receive and you can write messages and I'd say it's much much easier to uh, to write me messages with your keyboard. Okay and um, well if, if you're sending a lot of messages you probably you, you, you could use that program to actually read the messages and actually send the messages from your computer and it goes through your phone and through the network uh, and, and this is how it works uh, but actually if you don't have a computer uh, but you want to type a lot of messages very quickly you can get a, get a USB uh, foldable keyboard from Nokia and you can actually hook it up uh, via Bluetooth uh, sorry, via Bluetooth uh, and to your Nokia phone, Nokia smartphone, and you can actually uh, use the phone and, and do the best just and everything. And, and you, if you have a phone like me, like Nokia and then Fire or, or better, you can actually hook it up to a monitor or to, um, to a normal television set. And then if you have a, that Bluetooth keyboard, you can browse the net, you can do your messages, you can even uh, use some programs, do your spreadsheets and, and all of that using your small phone. Okay, uh, now calendar entries. Uh, this is exactly the same as, as on your computer. Again, lets you import and export the files uh, that you have to do. Like Thursday, I have some kind of a. Uh, oh, actually, that's my haircutting appointment there, and uh, I'm gonna check the settings for that. This is there a, an alarm? Do I want it to be repeated daily, weekly, monthly? 
yearly, let's say you want to add an anniversary and you can add it and, and, and set it to, to be repeated yearly so your phone reminds you what, what you have to, what you should remember yourself in. Now, uh, the file manager, it allows you to browse the files uh, on the phone. So if I go to my memory card and then can go to my documents, which is empty, uh, to my music, and this is some of the some of the audiobooks that I have. Uh, okay, and I can copy that. I can um, delete. I can change. I can rename and do pretty much everything you can uh, in, in Windows Explorer. Now, transfer music. What this allows you to do is it allows you to transfer music from your computer uh, to your from your computer to your uh, phone or, or backwards and it can actually it will convert uh, the it will actually convert the, the files to this special phone format so it fits on the phone you can fit a lot of things and what I use it for is actually I copy all my audiobooks onto my phone so when I'm driving somewhere I just uh, hook up my my air uh, headless set headphone sorry um, or head hands-free set and then I listen to audiobooks like that now store images, uh, if you have a phone with a, with a good camera or with any camera and if you do a lot of photos and, uh, and, and videos you can actually use this tablet to get all the videos and images from your phone to your computer, it's as easy as that. Okay, and, uh, and then it allows you to delete them automatically as well if you, if you want to keep your phone clean. Um, this one transfers videos uh, to your phone and, and converts them to the mobile format as well. Uh, this lets you install software and uh, this one um, allows you to update the phone software and this one is allows you to download maps if you're using Nokia maps for navigation. Um, okay, so if you just try the update, this is what you get. You, you have to download the Nokia updater and if you don't have it yet and, and this is how it works. And uh, it's pretty cool actually when a message comes in, uh, there's a... Uh, that pops up a kind of a dialog box here and uh, you can actually see the incoming messages just like in in, in Word and you can actually drop, drop, drag and drop uh, contents onto this phone. Uh, so if you create a file testing and if you just drop it on the phone, okay, uh, it's transferred to C data, okay, and um, so that's pretty cool. Just if you need, if you have some software or videos or something, just just quickly drag it onto the program and it's and it's actually copied to the to the to the drive okay okay uh, here you can see the testing file that I have I'm deleting it now okay so that's Nokia PC suite and there's a separate version uh, for business users as well and you can get it free from uh, Nokia.com so this has been a software video review from software slant Dot com. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck.